School is a center of science, dreams for every pupil, where everyone can find himself and fulfill his potential. School time is a necessary period in every child's life. So I believe you will agree with me when I say that every parent wants to give the best to his kid, and every parent hopes that the period of school life will pass at its best. The story that I am going to tell you today can be familiar to many parents from third world countries. The situation when you are completely lost and don't know what to answer or how to behave. Let's get back to our school years and imagine one of those evenings when the parents were asked to attend a school meeting. Having discussed all the questions about the school process, there is always a money question. New windows, new blackboard, new curtains, and so on. Schools in the poorest countries do not get enough support from the government, so usually some extra expenses are to be held by the parents. And there is always a part of the parents that want everything new and expensive. Usually that's the young mothers that haven't worked anywhere before, and the other part of the parents that also want the best for their children, but cannot afford to spend some extra money because they have to pay bills and rent. Well, a very similar story happened in one of our schools. At one of the parental meetings, a group of young mothers raised a question about the new desks for their children. It has to be said that the desks they already had were pretty used, but still could serve for the next couple of years. These young mothers that will never dig deeper to the other people's problems, so they start a rough discussion. We need to get new desks for our children, so let's raise funds for the new equipment. But the old desks are still in good condition, the other disagreed. Yeah, but we want to give the best to our children, don't you? The young ladies must have forgotten that the best they can do for their children is to spend some time together, to play a new game, to learn a new poem, or to go for a movie. Your child will never remember a new copybook or a new pair of jeans. They will remember the time that you haven't spent with them. They will only remember your absence. Suddenly, the discussion was joined by an older man that was sitting silently at the back of the classroom, listening to this conversation. Don't you think that you will divide the class for the rich and for the poor? Rich pupils will bully the poor, and the class will never be the one unit. So, you can find another job, can't you? The man didn't add anything and silently left the classroom. The next week, these children received 14 new desks out of 21. So, not every pupil ended up with a new desk. Seven children were left out at the back of the classroom, abandoned and deprived. Just imagine their frustration, being at the poor zone, being different than the others. That's the moment where the bullying begins. However, one day a miracle happened. To the classroom of other children arrived seven completely new and gorgeous desks. Each one was equipped with the latest technology. Comfortable top cover, two large drawers for the books, and a shelf for a bag. Just imagine the eyes of poor children when they saw the new desks. Their eyes were sparkling with joy, happiness, and love. Curious who bought all seven desks for the class? It was that same man on the back of the classroom. He turned out to be a wealthy businessman that for the first time came to the school meeting instead of his wife and gave a huge life lesson to everyone. This story tells us that the differentiation cannot take place at school among pupils because it will ruin their friendship and feeling of single unity. Sometimes try to put yourself in somebody's shoes to understand their point of view. Whatever happens, it's always important to be a kind, tolerant and a conscious person to make our world a better place. It's our mission. What do you think about this? Do you support this man? Share your opinion in comments under the video.